Hey loves, welcome to my channel. I'm Alexis Latasha. If you're new here, I love all things fashion, lifestyle, and a little bit of beauty. So if you like that type of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And also, if you don't want to miss any of my videos, make sure you hit that notification bell. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. So loves, today we're going to be doing a handbag review, but not just any, okay? This is a vintage handbag y'all i have had a love for handbags since i was a little kid if you've been following me like my first initial videos i had like handbag reviews and i realized i hadn't done one in a long time and partly being is because i've been so indecisive about what bag i want to purchase and i really just came down to it like i want to get all the bags that i truly wanted as a kid um, if you follow like fashion and all that type of stuff, Y2K is really, really coming back. Like all those little um, popular bags in the early 2000s are just really making a comeback. So those are bags that I really, really liked as a kid. Like the uh, Louis Vuitton Speedy, the Gucci one, the Celine one, like those Boston uh, bag styles were my favorite as a child. And even like the little shoulder bags are coming back in style. But the Boston bag is really kind of where I landed. Y'all, I did my research for literally months. I spent all my days just surfing the net, trying to figure out what is the best bag for me that's gonna fit my style, it's gonna go with the things that I already have. Because I do collect handbags, but it's not really to, to just kind of look at it. No, I actually want to wear all the bags that I pick up, so it really needs to go with what I have in my closet. And this Dior Trotter Boston bag is what I landed on, guys. I am in love. I, when I saw it, I was like, oh my God. I just knew I was going to buy the Louis Vuitton Speedy. But I was so undecided with that one because I didn't know if I wanted the size 25 or I wanted the little teeny one. So when I saw this, I was like, I don't have any blue. Um, I love the oblique print. It is no longer called the Trotter print trotter print it is called the oblique print now but that print is so nostalgic to me um it's very 80s very 90s very early 2000s like i said y2k fashion is coming back so i felt like i had to get this bag before they hiked that price up okay so i love this bag like i said it is called the dior trotter boston bag and yeah she is just a beautiful guy she is like a navy blue cloth material i She's just beautiful. So while doing my research, trying to figure out what bags that I want to get, I mainly looked on eBay, Fashion File, and Vester Collective. What I love about Vester Collective is that you were able to make an offer on the bag um, that they posted for a certain price. So if you if you saw that a bag was posted on there and it was pretty close in what you wanted to pay, you could actually send the seller a message and kind of make an offer. And that is what I did. And I'm so glad I did because I was able to get her for a really, really good price. That's why I love shopping pre-love and vintage because you can get a really good deal on some of the new bags that's out there and just get it vintage uh pre-love so i love 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 that aspect and then also to give yourself a peace of mind they do authenticate the handbags girl if they authenticate that bag and it is not real they are not sending it to you they will send you an email and let you know hey couldn't authenticate it can't send it we're gonna refund you so i just love that aspect of it you do have to pay a few extra coins to get it authenticated but for a peace of mind i'm willing to do that so before sending it to me they did authenticate it uh, i just love that and also if you download the vester collective app and you make your first purchase they will take 30 dollars off yes $30 off your purchase. So I just love that. Um, it's definitely a good way to get people on there and buy some things. So I just love Esther Collective. And Fashion File is one of probably the top, top ones. They are a really notable company. They authenticate all of their bags before even uploading them to their website. But I've noticed that they're just a little bit more pricier than all the other pre-love sites. But they are a really, really good one. And then eBay, if I say, if you're shopping on eBay, just make sure that it has that authenticator button on there. Like, I need to be able to authenticate this bag. If you cannot give me an authenticity card, I need to be able to 
authenticated and then also make sure you pay for PayPal just in case if you do order something off eBay and you didn't order it with that authentication check on there you be able to get your money back if you did you know authenticate it with a third party and they said hey this isn't real eBay will refund you so I just love those aspects when you're purchasing on eBay invest their collective so definitely try those out and if you have any more questions about purchasing pre-love definitely comment below I am happy to answer any of your questions but yeah First things first, you really, really want to make sure that you do your research. Like, that's just the biggest thing because you don't want to get scammed. I'm not somebody that wants a, a fake bag. So, I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, you love handbags and you don't want a fake one either. So, just do your research. Check the reviews. Make sure the company is reputable. So, yeah. I went with the Dior Boston bag, y'all. I just thought it was cute. She would definitely go with like my dresses, my blazers, my graphic t-shirts. I'm like, I'm always like, when I'm chill around the house, I'm going somewhere with my husband casually, like we going to the movies or something, just throwing on some sweats and a graphic t-shirt with a cute little bag. That's all I needed. I was really looking for something to like spice up my outfits. And I really feel like vintage handbags do that they add something extra to your look and then i i love that worn in look i love that these bags tell a story i love that these bags are old i just love that this bag first came into this world in 1967 that is when the dior trotter boston bag print came out and then it kind of just you know surfaced all the way through the early 2000s I'm not sure what year my bag is. My seller was not able to um, give me that information, so I'm not sure. But I know she's old. <laughs> she is super old. And if I had to guess, she's probably a bag from the 70s because it just looks like those styles in the 70s just from the pictures that I've seen online. So, yeah, she's really old. And love that i love that and like i said i got her for a really really good deal so you definitely want to hop on the boston bags if that's something that you like before the prices go skyrocketing because like i said y2k fashion is really coming back and the girls are going to be going for that oblique print so yeah highly highly recommend i think she her size is comparable to the size 25 speedy louis vuitton so very spacious you can fit a lot lot in here i love that this bag kind of slouches a little bit i still am thinking about getting an organizer for it just so i can be able to just easily go in this bag and just pick my things out versus kind of like when you have these type of bags you're kind of doing a lot of searching around in there so yeah i may get an organizer but i love how it slouches i just love that definitely will leave the information to my seller that i bought this bag from our best Air collective she did a great job with telling me any damages to this bag um keep in mind guys it is an old bag so you know to me, the condition that I got this bag in is pretty good for it to be as old as it is. Um, it does have like a few stains on there. I don't know. Where is it? I don't know if y'all can see that, but it does have a stain there. And I think it has a few. Oh, it has like a stain here, but you really can't see it. Like y'all not going to be up on my bag like that. And even if you was, like, I still just think that worn in look is cute. Um, even on the inside, which we're about to um, look in there, it's not even like that bad. Like it... It's just not and i'm just amazed at that like i just am like it's not super stained up or anything like that so she kept this bag in really really good quality and i just love it i am not gentle with my bags um i just feel like if you're gonna buy a bag i don't want to baby my bag i'm just not doing that i don't care if it's a chanel i'm not baby my bag i buy my bags to wear them so i am gonna be rough with them and I hopefully she stands the test of time because I want to have her in my collection forever. But let's go into what I have in my bag. So first things first, guys, I have to have my tripod. My tripod comes with me everywhere I go. I'm a content creator. You never know when you want to get some content. So I always have this. I got this from Amazon. This is like my favorite one. I've rebought this thing several times because I have lost it in carts while being out. I just, I always lose this thing. So it's perfect. I think it's only $12 on Amazon. So I will have this link if you are in need of like one of these types of tripods. I love this type because it connects to carts and stuff like that. It's very flexible. So I love that. Next, we have my AirPods. Have to have these handy, guys, because when I'm in a car with my husband, he likes to listen to his trap music sometimes, and I don't like that type of music. So I have to have my AirPods to listen to my good old R&B. Okay. 
Next, we have hand sanitizer. Y'all, okay, this is this is an essential for your bags, okay? I have the Mahogany and Vanilla Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. I love just picking these up. They're super cheap. And yeah, they always smell good. So let me put some on. All right, next we have the Guess the Dr. Red Body Lotion. Y'all, I love this. It smells amazing. If you've been following me, you know I'm obsessed with the Seductive Red. It smells amazing, y'all. You smell so good. I promise you, you will get so many compliments from this scent. If you're ever in TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, pick it up. Pick it up. Thank me later. It smells amazing. Next, we have my card holder, guys. I got this card holder from Shein. This is like really simple, basic card holder. It's like snake print. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I love that. It has three slots in the front, one in the back, and then we have one in the middle. So I think this is perfect, especially if you're someone that wears um, like mini bags. You definitely need like a cute little card holder for them. And then next, I have some lip gloss. I'm just carrying the Unbroken by NARS. I love this. It's just a cute little pinky lip gloss. Next, we have some perfumes. You got to carry some like miniature perfumes on you. You never know, girl, when you need to refreshen up. So I have the Perfect by Marc Jacobs. And I have this little tester one by uh, YSL. I don't know the fragrance, but y'all, it smells amazing. Thing. I really wish I knew what the fragrance was because I really like this scent. It smells good. And yeah. Next, we have just some cash. And then we got a hair tie. I have to keep hair ties in my bag because you never know when you need to pull your hair up in a ponytail. If I live in hot Florida. You, If you know, you know, okay? It, it gets hot, okay? And then last, no, this isn't the last thing. And then next we have some nail glue because your girl wear press-ons. And these things will embarrass you and pop off at any given moment. So I have to have some type of nail glue on me to fix it. The last thing that I have in here is just a clicker. You never know when you need to snap a picture. And if nobody's around to help you, you got your clicker, Amazon. So yes, y'all, that is it. Um, so this is what it looks like on the inside. Like I said, really, really good condition. It's like a few stains in there, but y'all, nothing to what I've seen while I've been doing my research. Like, I've seen some pretty filthy bags, okay? And it just wasn't worth the money. So I'm really glad that I got a really good deal on this bag. Like I said, she is just gorgeous. God, she's gonna go with so much. I cannot wait to style this bag. So make sure you are following me on TikTok and Instagram so you can see all the looks that I'm going to create with this bag. But that is it for this handbag review video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this from me, let me know. Give me a pink heart in the comment section if you are a vintage handbag lover as well. But I thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye, love.